If we work our butts off to make sure that we take back all three chambers of Congress, uh, rather all three chambers of government, the presidency, the Senate and the House in 2020, we can't start working in 2020. We look at these figures and we say, oh, unemployment is low. Everything is fine, right? Well, unemployment is low because everyone has two jobs. One. Hello, everybody. I'm so excited to be hopping on here, uh, Senator Sanders' account, and we're here in Kansas City to rally for Brent Welder. We're going to flip this seat red in November. Flip this seat red in November. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez says she can't afford to move to Washington. Yeah, she will need to relocate to do her job. Obviously, come January, members of Congress earn a solid $174,000 a year, but that salary won't kick in until she's actually sworn in. Alexandria Cor uh, uh, Ocasio-Cortez says this, I have three months without a salary before I'm a member of Congress. So how do I get an apartment? Those little things are very real. She said this to the New York Times. What do you think of that? All of the wealth in Washington and all of the power and a little simple person like her from New York well, can't find a place to live. It is a brilliant political line. On the other hand, some of those shoots during the campaign, she had these multi-thousand dollar outfits that could pay a month's rent in Washington, D.C. You're right. Well, I live in Washington. It's very expensive. But she's been all over the map on some of this stuff. Oh, a I think that politically, this like upper middle class is probably more moderate. Mm -hmm. um, but that upper middle class doesn't exist anymore in America. When you look at what she just said, that the upper middle class is gone, look at this. In 1979, it was at 12.9%, if we could put up the graphic. And today, the middle class has grown, as you can see, more than double that number from that many years ago. I would love to get inaugurated January 3rd, January 4th. We're signing the health care. We're signing this. We're decarcerating our society. But... You use the term the occupation of Palestine. Mm. What did oh. you mean by that? Oh, um. I think it, what I meant is like the, the settlements that are increasing in, in some of these areas and, and places where, um, where Palestinians are experiencing uh, difficulty in access to uh, their housing and homes.